Hey guys, today I'm going to show you a tutorial on how to do this black hole effects in Adobe After Effects. So first, jump to After Effects. This is um, After Effects CS5. You make a new composition, make it uh, square. Uh, I make it. I make it 800 by 800. And so yeah, this is the proportional grid. You don't really need it, but I use it just to you know to make it to make me easier to make the black hole. Let's see why. So make a new solid, make it white, and name it uh, Donut. Uh, well, this isn't really necessary though. <laughs> so make it, make it, uh, make a mask. I'm sorry, mask a mask in the center. You can use Command Shift uh, or Control Shift in Windows to make a circle right in the middle, of, from the middle, not from the side. So just. Uh, click, Command Shift, or Control Shift, and drag. And so this is a perfect circle. And, and then we're going to change the feather to about like so, and duplicate it. And then we are going to click Command T or Control T, just to you know to scale it down, and like so. And then after that, gonna change it to subtract. See, we make a donut. And then we're gonna go to solid and give it any color you want, it really doesn't matter. And name it fractal noise because we're going to use it as fractal noise for the pattern. And so make it a uh, little mat and drag to fractal noise in there. And oh, I. I accidentally put it to Luma inverted, it's supposed to be Luma Matte. And then you duplicate it, Command D or Control D. The reason I'm duplicating it is because I'm going to use two fractal noises to make the pattern. So I, I can have more flexibility on customizing it. Maybe change it to dynamic progression or anything. It really, really it depends on you. And so lift the other one and change the evolution. And then we're gonna make an adjustment layer and make a twirl. You know, make to make like a vortex. So make a liquid vibe, put it in the in the adjustment layer, and then change the brush size and change the to twirl and just click. So you're gonna twirl that. After you twirl it, you're gonna duplicate the adjustment layer and reset it. You know, get uh, pick the smudge brush and just you know uh, smudge it so it looks like it has an angular velocity or anything. So you no, know, so make it look like a vortex, like in the movies. So we're going to give a curve on the fractal noise to uh, you know change the color. To customize the color and mm, you know just bring it, the color down or anything, some blue mm, and red. Oh, and also change the first fractal noise to overlay. I forgot to do that. So this is my black hole. After minutes of customizing the color and the fractal noise, I'm pretty happy with this. So now we're gonna make the animation, some little animation on the uh, liquid eye effect. So go to five seconds and click the clock stuff, the watch to make keyframe, put it 110, go back and put it to 100 and do the same uh, to the second adjustment layer. You know, to give it more life to the black hole. 110, go to 100. Okay, so yeah, you don't really see anything, but it really moves. Just don't give it too much movement. So, so yeah, and then we're going to make the star background. So make a new composition, name it background. Turn off my proportional grid because I don't need it here. And go to solid, name it stars. Then give some fractal noise. Bring the scale down to make it like a TV noise and the brightness too. See, we're making a starry background. 
So now um, we go to the black hole that we just made and put it in the composition and give it another curve. Uh, I'm not really happy with the color, so you know, we just bring down the color down, bring the white down to make it more black, and give some red. So yeah, just darker, make it darker, make it more purple or anything. You know, and just get the look you want, and get some null object because I'm going to rotate this thing in 3D. So where's the parent code? Uh, It's gone. It's supposed to be right there. I'm no, just kidding. It's there now. So yeah, pattern the black hole to the null and just rotate it, but do not rotate it too much because it's not a real 3D object. It's just a 2D object in a 3D space. So just rotate it, but not too much, and then push it back. We can see some of the stars in the middle because it's hollow in the, in the middle there. So make a black solid to block it. Put it in between the black hole in the background. Give it some mask like so. And we're done. Just punch the brightness so give it more stars in the background. Also, you might want to give some 3D camera movement. So give some camera and make the star 3D, push it back, scale it up, just to give some parallax in the background so it doesn't look fake. So yeah, just orbit around with the camera and you're done. You can add some more lens flare in the background if you want to, or some stars or planet, just to make it more sci-fi spacey look. So yeah, this is my first tutorial. Thank you for watching. I hope this tutorial is helpful for you. If you have any question, just leave it in the comments. Thank you for watching and see you later guys. Bye.